for the short crust pastry as you all know it's a 2 is to 1 recipe 2 parts of flour 1 part of uh, margarine, uh, margarine or butter today we are using butter so i have taken 120 grams of refined flour i have added a pinch of baking powder okay then we have a little uh, 60 grams of uh, butter and we have taken 15 grams of uh, powdered sugar and of course chilled water to bind the uh, short crust pastry okay so i'm going to work on the table now i'm going to put the flour here please remember add a pinch of baking powder it gives a good texture for our short crust pastry okay then we have powdered sugar here so just spread the powdered sugar or mix the powdered sugar and then take the butter you know how it is done right the rapid method yes so first what we will do is we are going to slice this chilled margarine always remember chilled butter chilled margarine chilled water okay only then will you get a good short crust pastry then you keep slicing this keep rolling the margarine or butter and keep slicing okay now can you see i have got this breadcrumb texture or sandy texture as we call it uh, what i'm going to do is now i'm going to add chilled water it's very important that we add chilled water to keep the temperature of this uh, short crust pastry as low as possible just spread everything like this and then add water first i'll add about two tablespoons of water ideally speaking you should take it on a hand like this and sprinkle it okay and then you find it if I need more water, I am going to take some more water. Okay. Minimum handling of the dough, not needing pressing it together. Can you see? I have added sufficient water. I required a little more water to bring everything together. Now I have been going to keep it on the side. See, sometimes they say keep this in the fridge. I prefer to line it right away and then maybe keep it in the fridge after you have lined it. Okay. So each one has their own you know, thought process. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line molds like these for the uh, tarts. Okay. Use minimum dusting flour. The more dusting flour you use, the tougher the pastry. Okay. Because this pastry, this dusting flour has not been coated with the uh, butter. So therefore, you know, immediately what will happen is that you have added water. So therefore. Uh, the protein, the glutenin and the gliden will start coming together and our pastry will become tough. Now pick it up and place it here. Go up to the base. Go right up to the base. Can you see I am pressing it properly. After you do that, then what you do is you are going to, I am just pressing it, I am not pushing up the dough. Press it there itself, don't push the dough up, okay, otherwise you will have a very thin edge, okay. After that, you can use a palette knife and just This is what I am going to do for the remaining uh, dough and then I will just show you. Okay, now I have uh, lined the six uh, uh, pie dishes. Now what we will do is we are going to blind bake it okay because the custard which we are going to put is very liquidy. So if we put it right away what is going to happen is the uh, liquid is going to seep into the short crust pastry and your base will never get baked okay. So your guest is going to throw away that. Therefore what I am going to do is I am just placing uh, paper here, paper cup and I am going to put some weight here so that it does not puff up okay. Uh, to make the custard for the uh, vegetarian uh, tarts, what we are going to do is we are going to take 100 ml of milk here we have, this is uh, 100 grams of curd, this is 100 grams of um, condensed milk and here I have one teaspoon of custard powder. One teaspoon of custard powder. Okay. I'm going to uh, I'm going to just mix everything together here. So first what I'm going to do is I'll just add the curd here. Then a mix 
mix up a little bit. Again, no vigorous movements. Just smoothen it up a little bit. Add the condensed milk. There is no need to add vanilla, is it? Because this is vanilla flavored custard powder. If you want, you can add a little extra if you wish. Okay. Then I'm going to add this custard powder because I have to mix it properly. Okay. Mix. After you have mixed all this, then we are going to add the milk. strain this mixture it is important that we strain it okay so that you get a very smooth texture when you are eating it can you see this As you can see now, our tarts are baked properly. Can you see some light brown spots here and there? Now what we'll do is we'll pour the custard very carefully without spilling. That's why we are putting the mug. And then we are giving it.